Hi guys, uh, under aptitude, one very important tricky topic called crypt arithmetic. It's also called as alphanumeric problem. Let me take few examples and explain how to approach crypt arithmetic. You need to be good at this. The reason is same question may not come, but if you know how to approach crypt arithmetic, then you should be able to do other questions similar to these types. So let me take few examples and explain how to approach crypt arithmetic problem also called as alpha numeric problems my first example under crypt arithmetic is a b c d into 4 equals to equals to d c b a so if we observe this carefully a b c d is a four digit number where a is in thousand place b is in hundred place c tenth place d unit place uh, multiplying by 4, you are multiplying that by 4, product is in reverse order. Product is in reverse order. So A is in thousand place, but here in product A is in unit place. D is in unit place, but in product D is in the thousand place. So there is only one number. There is only one number. Okay. Out of thousands of numbers, there is only one number where if you multiply by four, you will get in reverse order. There is only one four digit number. When you multiply by four, you get product in reverse order. You need to find that four digit number. Okay, so question is like this. Find A plus B plus C plus D. Options are like say 10, 12, 15, 18. Okay, so you cannot take out of option and try to get the answer because this is a plus b plus c plus d okay all four digits together option are given so how to approach what is important is how to approach the approach instead of taking four digit number if you take if you start trying out four digit number there are thousands of number so getting answer in one minute is ruled out because you need to be extremely extremely lucky to get it right so approach is instead of taking four digit number consider a as a digit b is a digit c digit is basically a digit right so there are only 10 digits possible, 0 to 9 in decimal number system. If I take A first, A, B, C, D into 4 equals to D, C, B, A, I'm taking A. If I take A, is it I can take A equals to 0? No. Four digit number, if we start with 0, it becomes three digit number, so 0 is rolled out. It is, is it one possible? Yeah, one possible. Two possible more than two is ruled out more than two is ruled out the reason for that is anything more than two if you write it in thousand place three or four or five then product makes will exceed ten thousand will be more than ten thousand for sure if i take three for example three thousand something into four is twelve thousand cannot be a four digit answer four digit answer possible only if you take either two or one or zero zero ruled out because four digit number so you are left with only two digits either one or it is two if i take one I have to take one here also. If number start with one, then the product ends with one. That is the question is all about, right? So if I take one in the unit place, it's an odd number. No four multiples can be odd number. No four multiples can be odd number. All four multiples are by default even number. By default even number. So this is also ruled out. If this is ruled out, you left with only one digit. That is two. So A is guaranteed equals to two. Cannot be any other digit. If A is two, if number ends with two, if product ends with two, if product ends with two, what are the digit possible in place of D? Let's check it. Zero. Zero into four ends with two? No. One into four ends with two? No. Two into four ends with two? No. Three into four ends with two? Yeah, possible. Three, four is a 12 ends with two, right? Three is one of the possible digits. Let's continue. Four into four ends with two? No. Five, four is a ends with two? No. Six into four ends with two? No. Seven into four, 28 ends with two? No. 8 into 4, 32 ends with 2? Yeah, ends with 2. 9 for the 36 ends with 2? No. So either it is 3 or it is 8. So D equals to 3 or 8. Let me take 3 first. If I take 3, then product is 3000 something. Number is guaranteed it is 2000 something. I don't know what exactly into them, but it is in 2000 something. 2000 something or more than 2000, if you multiply by 4, cannot be 3000. 2000 or more than 2000, if you multiply by 4, minimum is 8000 or 9000, right? So it is between 8000 to 9999 only. 3000 something is ruled out. So 3 is ruled out. If 3 is ruled out, you will have to do only one digit, 8. So D is definitely 8. So two digits are fixed now. 
that is a is 2, d is 8, a is definitely 2 and d is 8. So let me take that now. So a is 2, d is 8, d is 8, a is 2. If d is 8, if it is not any other digit, then you have to make sure that there is no carry after multiplying b with 4. No carry. No carry possible is 0. No carry possible with 1 also. No carry possible with 2 also. Anything more than 2 if you take, then there is a carry. So either it is 0 or it is 1 or 2. 2 is ruled out because a is 2. So you cannot use that digit again. You cannot repeat the digit because it is not a, it is b. So you left with the other two digits, 0 or 1. So b is either 0 or 1. If I take 0 in b place, then last two digit of the number is 0, 2. If last two digit of product is 0, 2, that is not divisible by 4. But 4 divisibility rule is last two digit number should be divisible by 4. That is 4 divisibility rule. If last two digits are divisible by 4, number is divisible by 4, isn't it? So 0 is also ruled out. If 0 is ruled out and more than 2 is ruled out, 2 is also ruled out because we already used, then you left with only one digit, that is 1. So B is definitely 1. Is it 1, 2 is divisible by 4? Yes, yeah, it is divisible by 4. So B is equals to 1. Let me multiply and find C now. This is easy because just a multiplication, nothing else. 8, 4 is a 32, 3 carry. You take any digit you want in place of C. After multiplying by 4, adding 3 carry, number should end with 1. If I take 9, 9, 4 is a 36. 36 plus 3 is 39. 39 ends with 1, no. If I take 5, 5, 4 is a 20. 20 plus 3 is 23. 23 ends with 1, no. If I take 7, 7, 4 is a 28. 28 plus 3 is 31. 31 ends with 1. Yes. So number is 2178. 2178. 2178. If you multiply by 4, it is 8712. So this is how we have to approach crypt arithmetic. So you need not taking numbers directly. You need to take digits separately and all possible values for digit and the ruled out digits. You need to check it and accordingly get the answer. If I take say a more similar say a b c d e into 4 equals to e d c b a say then this is definitely 0 or 1 or 2 more than 2 is ruled out 0 is also ruled out 1 is odd number ruled out so it is 2 only so this is also 2 only 3 4 are 12 8 4 are 32 both ends with 2 3 is ruled out because 3 30,000 something is ruled out so it is 8 only so there is no change here this is definitely 8 let me Take out this and write it down. So this is 8, and this is 2. So there is no carry possible with 0 or 1 or 2. 2 is ruled out because we used it. 0 is ruled out because last two digits are not divisible by 4. So it is 1 only, isn't it? So this is definitely 7 because 7 for the 28 plus 3 carry only ends with 1. So this is 7. Now what is C? Any digit you take in place of C, any digit, after multiplying by 4 and adding 3 carry, that should end with same digit. If I take 6, say, 6 for the 24, I'm assuming 6, 6 for the 24 plus 3, 27. 27 ends with, we assume 6, but what are we getting is 7. If I take, say, 4, 4 for the 16, 16 plus 3, 19, but we assumed is 4, what we're getting is 9. If I take 9, 9 for the 36, 36 plus 3, 39, 39 ends with same digit, 9. So it is 9. So 21978 into 4 equals to 87912. Okay. Let me take one more. So USA plus USSR equals to PACE. Three digit number plus four digit number equals to five digit number three digit number plus four digit number equals to five digit nouns are possible only when you take the three digit is 900 something and four digit is 9000 something then only five digit answer possible if i take say 800 something 8000 something then answer will be in either 8000 or in 9000 but definitely not five digit if i take 700 something 7000 something if i add it it is definitely less than 10,000. So 10,000 or more than 10,000 possible only when you take 900 something and 9,000 something. Then only it is possible. So one thing is guaranteed. U is 9. U is definitely 9. So let me take that. 9, yes, 
a 9 s s r equals to 900 something plus 9000 something is definitely 10000 something because even if i take maximum i cannot take maximum because these are different digit even if i take maximum of 3 and 4 digit then i'll get 10998 so maximum answer is 10998 so it is definitely not 11000 so it is in 10000s only 10000s only then p is 1 for sure is zero that is 10,000 something right 10,000 something one followed by zero then you have a you have c then you have e again e is zero e is definitely zero because one followed by zero e is zero this is one this is zero so this is also e only so zero this is nine this is also nine all right so you need to left you are you're left with yes ar see so you need to find this remaining digits now now any number ends with zero, any number ends with zero after adding two digit, those two digits are combination of one and nine, combination of two and eight, combination of three and seven, combination of four and six, combination of five and five. Five and five is ruled out because this is A and R, two different digit. One and nine ruled out because we already used one and nine, so you cannot take it again. So you left with either two, eight, three, seven, or four, six. If I take four here, and six here. If I take four and six here, this is also four, remember, A. Then this is five automatically, five, because nine plus five only ends with four, only nine plus five. So this is also five, this is also five. Four plus six, 10, one carry. Nine, five plus five, 10. 10 plus one carry, 11. C one ruled out because P is one. So C cannot be one. So this is definitely not four and six. This is not four and six, all right ruled out. Now 3, 7 say. If I take 3, I have to take 7 here. If I take 3 here also. Then this becomes 4 because 9 plus 4 only 3 possible. 9 plus 4, 13 ends with 3. So this is also 4. This is also 4. 3 plus 7, 10, 1 carry. 4 plus 4, 8. 8 plus 1, 9. C cannot be 9 because U is 9. So that is also ruled out. So this is also ruled out. All right. Then you have two eight. If I take two here, then eight here, two plus eight is 10. This is two. Nine plus what number gives you two? Three. So this is also three. This is also three. Okay, add it. Two plus eight, 10, one carry. Three plus three, six, six plus one, seven. Seven we used anywhere? No. So this is the answer. That is nine, 32. Nine, three, three, eight equals to one zero two seven zero one zero two seven zero all right this is if i take say eight and two if i take a eight and r two if a is eight then this becomes nine that is also ruled out so it is so other way around also is ruled out so only this is possible so it is nine thirty two plus nine three three eight equals to one zero two seven zero this is how you have to approach crypt arithmetic if you want more more questions on this, more examples on this, that I'll take that video in the second part of Crypto Arithmetic. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys.